Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 3 figures, Michelangelo and Leonardo set by Nika. Donated to us by my good buddy Billy Bohab. What's up? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at them in packaging, and we're going to take a look at the figures and their accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. Just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and check out my Ninja Turtle playlist, and hit that like, share, and subscribe button. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, so here they are in packaging. I love the packaging for them. So first off, you got your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 logo up here. You get to look at both figures and all their accessories. You get their names, uh, some movie art. Spin it around this way. All right. You get a nice picture of Mikey here. You get some more of the uh, movie art as well. Flip it around this way. All right. You get a nice picture of both figures together, uh, some different poses, and them with the other turtles. Spin it here. You get a nice picture of Leo. Uh, some more movie art. Spin it here. And what you got is you got your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three logo, Nickelodeon, Real Toys, Nika. On this side, you got your age restrictions and your choking hazards. And then, of course, underneath, you got a little bit of legal and your skew. So, with all that being said, let's open them up and see what they're about. If you're going to be in the Philadelphia area from September 7th and 8th, then you got to check out RetroCon 2024 at the Philadelphia Expo Center. They have lots of great tables and vendors selling all sorts of retro action figures and collectibles. Plus, they have guests, arcade games, contests, panels, and much, much more. In honor of 40 years of Transformers, they will have a 40-year anniversary display stand that you could take pictures with. Special guests will be including Anson Williams, who played Potsy in Happy Days, Don Moss, who played Ralph from Happy Days and also played Eric from Dungeons & Dragons, the cartoon, voice actor Neil Ross, who played the voices of Shipwreck, Springer, and many other iconic 80s cartoon characters. Actor Lee Majors will also be there, best known for playing the $6 million man and the Fall Guy. He was also in Ash vs. the Evil Dead and The Night the Reindeer Died. So not only do they have the $6 million man, but they also have Lindsay Wagner, the bionic woman. Alright, so first off, we're going to do Michelangelo. Um, overall, I'm liking the overall look to him. Let's start off with the rotation. And there's that side. The back. This side. And now the front. So these figures have a lot of really nice detail. So let's bring them up close. So first off, I like the face sculpt. That looks really nice. You get all this nice detail in his armor. Even on the back, I like this a lot. So they got like this sort of like floral design on the back, which looks really cool. I like that attention to detail. And the same with like the studding on his arm guards and even on his hands and legs. So there's a lot of really good detail on this figure. Now, I don't know how well the camera captures it, but you can even see his spots and everything as well. So overall... I really like the look of this figure. I think they put a lot of really nice work into attention to detail on him. So now let's go through his points of articulation. So first off, the head does move. You have a shoulder joint and an elbow joint. You have a wrist joint. You have a thigh joint. Now these this thigh joints a little tight. All right, you may want to use some hot water on it. The knee joint works really well. The ankle joints are a little tight. And he also has a swivel right here at the top of the boot. And I think he has a bit of a torso joint. Yes, he does. So he does have some pretty good points of articulation. I don't have any problems with a lot of his points of movement. 
Uh, he definitely does have some tight spots like up here in the thigh and the ankle. So you're probably going to want to use heat on that. So now let's start going through all the cool stuff he comes with. So first off, he has two hands. All right, he has an open hand and a closed fist. Now I'm going to just go through all the hands here because there's also another open hand. Oops. And another closed fist. But these hands are totally interchangeable between him and Leo. So I'm going to just introduce him now with him. And then I'll do one hand with him. And then I'll do another hand with Leo. So these are the hands. I'll put those over there. Uh, he comes with a jacket. That's a nice cloth. I like the cloth material to this. All right. He comes with a face mask. Okay. He comes with a samurai helmet. Now, once again, just like the rest of his armor, there's a lot of really nice detailing in it. I love the detail to this helmet. Looks really good. And right here is the catch. Uh, so how you're going to hook the helmet on is this little catch here goes on to his um, bandana. So we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. He comes with a set of nunchucks. Now, it has a plastic cord. I think I would have preferred a cloth cord because plastic hasn't been known to break. You know, it just twists and breaks. So that's a little concerning to me. Uh, it's a separate part, so it may be all right, but I would have probably prefer preferred a rope. Same with the other one here. The same thing. Got the plastic cord. You know, I I'm more of a fan of rope than plastic now he comes with this saber here okay they do come with two sabers the other one i will say for leo all right so now that we saw see the figure let's see how well everything works with them so first off let's try the nunchucks all right they seem to be a little small for his hands I mean, they don't fit in all so well as you can see there, you know, you can't really, the fingers are really stiff on him, so you can't really do anything with the fingers. Um, yeah, there's no real, unless if you try to get it, nah, that won't work either. So the nunchucks don't fit very well in his hands, and unfortunately none of these other hands are designed for these chucks. So that's a little bit of a disappointment to me that they don't really fit well in his hands. I mean, if you hold it, like maybe have him hold it sideways or something, it might work. But at this point, they don't fit very well in his hands. And that's kind of a bummer. You know, I would hope more for that. He also has a saber here. And that clicks very well into the hand. Yeah, even that's a little wonky, to be honest with you. Let's try the other hand. All right. So you can get it in there. It looks pretty cool. Except the only re thing is it's kind of facing the other way. Like if you wanted it for combat, it would have to sit like this. And it sits really loose in his hand. So at this point, you know, none of the weapons work really well. Like if I shake him, see, it just it just pops out. You know, if you do want them to hold it nice and tight, you got to give it a spin. But now you're looking, he's holding this uh, sword sideways. So I think his accessories could have been a little bit better. Let's do a hand swap here. We're going to swap this hand out for a fist. Okay, just work it on off. Take your time with it. Ooh, man, that's in there pretty tight. Let's try the other hand. Okay, that popped off. So we'll give him this fist. All right, so there you go. So this side was a little bit tighter than this side. You may want to use heat on these hands if you're going to swap them out. But it does go in there. It works pretty well. So now let's get him looking all samurai. -y. So first let's put on his jacket. All right. Might have to bend the arm back. Fit the jacket on. Yes, you do. 
All right, so the jacket, put underneath his thing here. It's on pretty well. I don't have any issues with the jacket going on him. All right. Now, to get the face mask on, this bulb here comes off. You know, the knot, I guess you would call it, for the um, headband. So that pops off. So that way you can just get the mask on just nice and easy. All right. So the mask fits on pretty well. No issues with that. And then you just put the bulb back on or the knot. I don't know why I'm calling it a bulb, but. All right, so that slides on. So if you just want them to have the mask on, you could do that as well. And next comes on the helmet. And like I showed you earlier, I'll show you again. Get him back on that stand. There we go. All right, so if you look in here, that knot fits right on there. And it's a snug fit. All right. So it's a matter of just lining it up right. There it goes. So once you got the helmet on, so there he is with the helmet. It shouldn't come off that easily. You just got to work it on there. Once you get it worked on, it's it's pretty tight. So the helmet fits on pretty well. The mask and everything fits nicely. It looks like it belongs. There's no get gapping seams or anything. So overall, the mask and costuming works really well with this figure. Get him back on his stand. So here we have Leo, and he looks really good, Leonardo. Uh, just like Mikey, there's a lot of really good attention to detail with him. So let's get the rotation going. So we have this side. We got the back. And then we have the other side, and we're back to the front. So he has a lot of similar similarities to Mikey. So let's bring him up close. The head sculpt looks really nice. I like it. You also get that, you know, dotted, you know, turtle skin in there as well. Just like Mikey, you get this really nice detail in here. The same with the back and the studs. Also the same with the legs. So the outfit is pretty much the same. Probably the bot. They probably both use the same body. They just put different heads on them. All right. So with him... We got this saber here with the uh, full hand guard. All right, he has his, of course, his iconic, you know, katana swords. He has a helmet. Okay, and just like Mikey's, you know, you got like the studding and all this really nice detail in there. So I really like that as well. He also comes with a jacket. Now, his jacket's a little bit different. It has these little T-holes here for the katana swords to hook them up on there. So, we'll have to see how well that works. And last but not least, he has the mask. And we already went over the different types of um, hands. So, we're not going to go over that with him. But we will give him one of the open hands. We'll try one of the open hands with him. So first off, let's see how well all his work, weapons work. First, the iconic katanas. All right. Ooh, man, that's tight. That's really tight. Um, all right. So these hands are really tight with these katanas. It does fit in there. All right. So it's a little bit tight. Now we have to try the other one. Yeah, man, that's tight. That's like super tight. But they do come in. 
Now, one thing you do want to be careful with any kind of sword weapon, let's look them over, is right here. You want it to have a tendency to push down here, but you can run the risk of breaking the blade at this um, Suba. So be careful with that. I've ran into that problem once or twice with my own figures. Now, also, we need to go over the points of articulation with him. Uh, he has all the same points as Mikey. So the head does move. You got a shoulder joint with an elbow joint. All right. You got a wrist joint. You got the torso joint. Let's put these arms up. Just like this. Alright. Now just like Mikey. this His leg actually moves a lot better than Mikey's. It's a lot looser. Which is nice. You also got your knee joint. You got your swivel here. And you also have your ankle joint. So, his joints seem to be a little bit better than Mikey's. But once again, anytime you really think that something's a little bit too tight, it never hurts to put, you know, some heat on it. Y'all, you know, it's better safe than sorry. So, let's get these out of his hands. Alright. Let's see how well they work in the scabbers. Alright, so that just slides right in really nice. And this one. Alright, really nice. They're actually pretty tight in there. They don't want to slide out or nothing. So that's really good to see. Alright, so let's try this saber here. Alright, so. It does fit. Fits a little bit better than how Mikey's did. It's a lot tighter, so you can get that full front. You know, you can spin it this way. Um, now, if you look at the type of sword, it actually shouldn't be in that hand. It should be this hand. Just the way how the hand guard is. So let's see how well this works into this hand. All right, that's pretty tight. Let me see if I can move this thumb a little bit. Oh, I can. Now, they make these hands really tight on these figures. And they're not really that maneuverable. But it does work. See, now you get a better guard here. You get your sword facing the way it should be. And that's, you know, blade um, towards the opponent. So that sits a little bit better in his hand. I kind of like that a little bit more. So let's take this out. All right. Put him back on here. Now we're going to try all the different types of clothing on him. I'm going to take the swords out. And we're going to see how, how how this jacket actually fits on here. Because this is pretty interesting. Um, no, nah, those don't come off. So, I'm going to try bottom first. Alright. All right. So, now that that's there. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. All right, let's let's try it. let's try it side by side. Let's see how that works. So, got that shoulder in. And can we get that bottom in there too? All right, well. Hmm. All right, so we got both arms in. We got the top of the scabbers in. this arm down all right so we got the arms in got the tops in um i don't know about this um okay got this side in now anytime you're trying to do something like this be gentle with it you don't want to try to force something. If you're forcing it, something ain't right. All right, I'm having a problem getting this. There it goes. Okay. So, all right. So, I got all four in there. It's a little bit of work to try to get all of them in there just because it's really tight. 
but it does work. The whole jacket works on them. Okay, so that fits nicely. I'm not having any issues with that. Looks a little bulky here in the back. You know, I think they probably should have maybe dropped the holes a little bit or made them a little bit wider, but that's just a personal preference. That's not either a make or break with it. So just like Mikey, it's the same thing. So the, the knot comes off here. You just work it off. Don't try to force it. Because it will come out. It just takes a minute. So actually, it's a long, long piece of... Ow, dang fingers. Hold up. Let me work that out of there. Just a hair. Come on. See, what I'm having a problem with is just getting my fingers in there to work it. It's a little hard. But it's coming off slowly. There it goes. Alright, so it came off. Like I said, it's just hard for me to get my fingers in there. I got big fingers. But see, you got this whole long piece that comes in or out. As you can see. So, takes it a minute to get it off. And now, get the mask on them. Alright, that went on really well. No problems getting his mask on them. Put the knot back on. And slides right back in. No issues with that. And just like Mikey... The helmet fits on the same way. So you got this little spot here that hooks right onto the knot. And then once you get that all good and lined up. All right. Fits really well. Oops. Slid off. But it will sit on there. Do, 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 do. So there it goes. All right, so now he has the helmet on. Fits on nicely. Don't have any issues with the helmet. So overall, his equipment fits really well with him, at least the helmets. Uh, the hands seem a little tight, you know, with the swords. The saber actually fits better in his hand than Mikey's. So overall, I don't have any real issues with him. So, overall, I think they're decent figures. I like the overall look to them. They do have some tight joints, so you might want to use heat on a couple of spots. Now, here's something interesting for these figures. Well, first off, I didn't do the hand swap that I said I would do with him. So, let's do that first. Let's see how easily this hand pops off and puts on one of the extras. Alright, so, just working it, working it. It's coming. There we go. So, boom, that pops in there really nice. Now, the reason why I want to talk about hands a little bit more now that I have both figures here is something interesting I feel is that if you look at the hands that Mikey came with, all right, they're a little bit more open than the ones that Leo came with. All right, so because their hands are interchangeable, I want to see something. I'm going to pull this hand off of him and put, I think this is the Mikey one. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put this one on him, and then I'm going to take this hand off of Mikey Right. I'm going to put that on him. We're going to keep these helmets off. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because it looks like the nunchucks work better with these hands. They, they look a little bit tighter. At least that's what I thought anyway. 
So th these hands are a little bit tighter. See what I mean? So you can probably get the nunchucks in a little bit better with these hands. It's still a little bit loose, but it's a little bit tighter. You might be able to work the nunchucks a little bit better in the hand that Leo came with. Oh, shoot. Keeps on wanting to slide, but I am getting it in here a little bit better, as you can see. Not much, but it is a little bit of a tighter hand. All right. I actually had it in here pretty well at one point. But you can see it's a tighter hand. You could probably work the nunchucks better into this hand. And the Leo hand, actually, is a smaller hand. So let's get one of his katanas. And then the Mikey one. Maybe I might have swiped the wrong hands around. So the sword actually slides in better and easier into the hands that Mikey came with. So you may want to swap their hands around when you want them to hold stuff. Because here's the one that came with Leo. And see how much easier he holds that nunchuck? You know, with the Mikey hands, it just fell right through. And it's the same, like, if you take his sword, you pop it in here. If you remember how tight it was for me to get the sword in the, um, Leo's hand. And look how easy that went into that hand. So you may want to swap the hands around with these two. Because it seems like the hands that Mikey that comes on Mikey out of packaging works better with the swords and the hands that Leo comes with works better with the nunchucks. So that might have just been something, you know, when they put them together, it, you know, whatever hands they put them with, they put them with. So you could definitely try that out, see if that works because all the hands are interchangeable. So that might be a little better something for them. So even though these are better hands. The nunchucks are still a little bit loose in them. So overall, I do like these figures. Um, I overall think that they look good. They definitely look great on the shelf with your other figures as well. They do have some tight joints. You might want to use some heat on some of them. Uh, probably my biggest complaint with these figures is that the nunchucks fit really loose in any of the hands. Yes, the ones that came with Leo, they fit better, but they're still a little bit on the loose side. Other than that, everything else swaps out well. The weapons swap out well. Um, I would recommend these figures for anybody who's a fan of the Ninja Turtle movies or franchises. So with that being said, I hope you all did like this review. If you did, go ahead and check out my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, playlist. And also hit that like, share, and subscribe. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. And once again, thank you for watching. So until the next one, late.